would like to present everybody, even the new ones, with all the respect. We would like to do that. What's your goal with? My goal out of this is never have it happen again, that's for sure. That's the first thing. Second thing is to make it as equitable as possible for everybody that has a bill on DD4 lat 4. Right. Other than that, we don't have a lot of choice. You, Mr. Judge. Uh, I agree with uh, Roger, you know, do everything that we can to avoid this situation happening again. Um, but with, you know, me being newer, I'm still learning on the, the warrants and everything. So, yeah, yep. So we're, we're gathering information. Um, we don't like seeing mistakes happen. We understand you know, the frustration behind it. Um, and we want to gather as much information to make the right decision as we can, you know, because that's what we're elected to do. My, my goal is not that much different than the other three. Just um, moving forward, uh, I intend to be more involved with looking at those assessments and making sure yeah, that things about. like this don't happen again. Well, I mean, I've been on the board for 18 years, eight yeah. and a half years, and this is the first time I've ever, seen, I've ever seen this happen. This it's, is. it's a very major mistake. Um, I think we are going to try to make sure that it never happens again. Yeah. Um, we're going to try to, you know, fix it the, the best we can. We can get, get some, you know, if an insurance company that kick in some liability, we'll try that. I don't, beyond that, I mean, there was a mistake made. You no know, getting around it. We, we, we're owning up to it. Um, I don't, I've, I've made mistakes myself. I don't think anybody in, in this room could say that they never made a mistake that, that didn't, you know, wasn't uh, costly to us. And, um, it's really not going to cost you guys anything. It's going to cost us the money. I understand that. That's why I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand it, and I, I have all the, all the have empathy. To to I have all the, I know, yeah. all the empathy in the world. Yeah. But it, it doesn't change it. I mean, the mistakes, the, the, the mistake has been made. Now we have to figure out how we're going to make it as Joe's right and less painful as possible for everybody involved in it. We're going to try. We're going to have to you know, work sure. through it here and right. see if we can, you know, come up with a uh, uh, some insurance money or liability or whatever. I don't know what what the how it's going to come out. Okay. But we're going to. And if know, that doesn't happen, the bill's going to cost more. Yeah. So it's it's, it's, you're correct. It's, can we get a set in stone when this is done and it doesn't come back another five years or five years, another five years? I mean, I paid my bill off several years ago. Now you're coming back. Oh, uh, you owe more. How do we get a set in stone that this is done? Closed? Uh, it because it's because the awareness is there and I. And there's a lot of a lot of eyes on this, and and, and I how think, do you get the guarantee that that's well, closed? I mean, when you guys get this all settled out, how do we get the it, guarantee that you're not going to come back to it, this again? It will, it years? will, it will be settled. I mean, if we there's too there's too much focus on this now for you know for it not to be you know, closed out. Okay. We, we have so now we, now the yeah. the emphasis of how we how we're going to get it closed out. What are we going to do? How are we going to do it? And uh, we just we got to work. We have to work on that. And I wish I could come up. I, mean, I wish it. You know, I I can't. I don't have a good answer. But there was a mistake made. We know oh, it. Give me. What's the time frame for us to get about? Do you have a time frame? Well, I I don't know. It depends. We have to work with the with our liability insurance. Okay. Get them the information they need as Kyle said. We'll get that to them as quickly as possible. What Kyle said he wanted to wait until the hearing was over. We'll get that to them you know, within, the next, the day in the next few days. Hopefully, Kyle can get that information to them. We'll have to maybe uh, we'll have to talk to the to the liability carrier and see what and what can be done if they're. If so we'll have a new hearing then. I wouldn't expect we'd have to have another hearing. And, Yes, we will. Well, another, another hearing. Okay, all right. To have sent, yeah. yeah. 
help. So let us work on work here on, on you know on our side and and um, yeah, I wish I I wish I could you know said never seen this happen in 18 and a half years. So I mean, there there has been another situation. There was issues with Tri 84 in my district when I got on the board. I don't have the dollar figure on the top of my head, but there was six figures worth of interest accrued there on projects that was not fully assessed. I did not realize that it was a recurring issue. I thought it was a one time, one event issue. And this, it, the situation with lateral four and lateral two brought it to my attention that it's a recurring issue and that we need to look at other information, which is why I've had conversations with Marge about what we need to change going forward so that it does not happen again. One thing you should change is instead of waiting until August to have a meeting when we find a mistake in May, do it in June. So maybe we have a chance before September assessments. Yeah. In the timeline. Is, yep. The timeline is You're making the assessments the 23rd of May. Nothing comes out until we get this in July, and then to have a meeting today on the 29th, and the taxes on this fine or do or waiver, wherever you want to go, it's due tomorrow. Right. Okay. That's the so, so, And then there's take a yeah. year to figure out the rest of this. So I guess as far as um, action goes, I don't know. If, is there a term we need to use as far as suspending or canceling the assessments that were already issued in May? Is there a term specific to use? Jim? Kyle, I think you call it a reassessment. You've discovered an assessment that's too low, that should have been higher. So you just you just move to, to make a reassessment after further study and hearing. But we already sent out the assessments in the spring of this year. So we'll do it the way I, you want to do it. I think you could change the term assessment. Okay. to permit to no. no, no. I I would make a motion to void the assessments we sent out for drain four, lateral four uh, in May of 2023. We can't yeah, we can. Yes. Yeah, we can take hearing. action we in the public hearing, hearing, can't we, Jim? Yes. We can't, so that's my motion. I got to close the hearing first. We're, we're yeah. dealing with lateral said four we don't right have to now. Close the hearing first. Okay, so no, we don't have to close the hearing. Very very during hearing. I can't hear you. Don't, you can make a motion during the hearing while it's still open. Yeah, you're in session. Okay. You can typically, conduct business as it relates to this these projects. Typically, we always close the hearing and then. Well, I don't know how you typically done it because I'm typically never here. <laughs> well, I'm serious. Yeah, I, I yeah. But if you want to close this hearing and then make your adjustment at a regular board meeting, I think we can. If that's how you normally do it. You may do it that way. I'm telling you, you have the authority when you're in session. I would like to do it now while we're in the hearing so people can talk if they want to at the appropriate time. But because with that, Jack, I also think you need to continue this very hearing to a later date. Some more investigation gets done. Insurance can be explored. Bring the landowners back in. I know you're coming up against harvest. Nobody's keen to come to a, a hearing. That's my, I, question. my question on the continuance is typically, Marge, you don't send out notices for a continuation. No. I, I think we should so I think close it here and we're and done. Then, so that Marge would be and then send out notices for, for the next year. She'll not only have to send out notices, she'll need to publish notices. Now you've done some more expense. I think the supervisors can. That that yeah, we can cover that. I think. No, no, I don't think that's. that's uh, well, I just, that I just is, think no. I would prefer that she send out notices. I you know, I agree. I, we have okay. We have a motion on the floor. We either need a second or it fails for a lack of second. Robert's rules of order. We need. Would to you read the motion, please? Motion by Stucker to void the assessments for drain four last October. 
that were sent out. May, May of 2023. She yeah. repeated my motion from before. Oh, okay. it's That's for the board. That's good. That's it's for the board. Everybody here. Okay, motion? Sorry. Yeah. Do I have a second on the motion? Second by, second by Plath, discussion on the motion. Any discussion from? If not, do a roll call vote on the motion. Plath? Yes. Nass? Yes. Wachter? Yes. Becker? Yes. Jerk? Yes. Okay, so. Now my question is, you have to wait a whole year before you send out the new assessments, or can we do it sooner than you can do it tomorrow if you get it done, Jim. Well, that's what I'm wondering. We have to wait a whole year? I can do it as soon as you can get it figured out. But well, you've got a problem once again. I understand that. You but probably have a service that sends out both your real estate tax and your drainage assessments. Is that what you do? I believe they're so only sent out once a year. Right. Right. So now... Well, that's, yeah, that's a bit of a way. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just uh, yes. I, you know, it's, I think you can have a special assessment sent out. Let's just say I think the further general, evaluate that. Yeah, there's not a law that says you can't put another assessment out. Right. I think we can send a special assessment out sooner if we figure this all out. Well, let's figure it out before we make that decision. Yes, I want it 100 percent. Documented right. what went wrong and but if that's possible, what the I would rather see that done sooner than a, than about right. a year later. Yeah. Nobody should that. Yes. Yeah. So as so as far as all the letters that people got with the options for waivers, you can ignore them, whatever, because it doesn't apply. Um, I think we'd probably be able to send out a letter. To everyone so for the people that aren't here so they know that not to pay that bill so we will we will inform everyone in that regard but is you can you can fix installment payments again on your new assessment yeah yep yeah. yeah. is there any other questions for drain four lateral four for today yes i would not entertain I'd motion make a motion to close, motion the, to hearing. close the hearing Okay, Kyle moves to close. Do I have a second? I'll second. Josh, any discussion on the motion? If not, do a roll call vote, please. Yes. 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 Motion or hearing is closed. So now we have lateral two. Yeah. Um, I'd make a motion to open the public hearing for lateral two. I have a motion to open the public hearing for lat two. Do I have a sec I'll second that motion? Do a roll call vote, please. Yes. 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 The hearing is open. Presentation. So. Did everyone get the papers for lateral two that were provided? Okay, well, to save reading through all that, obviously it's a similar situation to lateral four and all the discussions we had there. The, the oh, major. Painting out papers. Yeah. Yeah. I'd give I'll it, wait give it a minute. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? So we're going to have discussion on lat two. Yeah. Go ahead, Kyle. You got the sheet in front of you. The the major difference between drain four lateral four and drain four lateral two is lateral two is all one tile, one system, one project. It's not broken out in all the sublaterals like lateral four was. So I mean we could do 
a similar thing, but the difference in assessments, there wouldn't really be a change in the assessments um, because it is one schedule, it's one bill. Um, so I don't know where you guys all want to start. If there's any questions you want to ask or anywhere in particular, Brody. I have a question from the insurance. Uh, what's your concerns about insurance paying it? And will that affect ongoing policy with it? Do you think something, especially with these two, it's obviously like you said, they're similar. Do you yep. think that's substantial enough that they may drop you? Is that a thing with county? I'm not clear. I don't know an answer to that question, but it very likely could affect our rates. Just knowing private insurance, I mean, farming, okay. car liability, whatever. I mean, if if you have a substantial claim, your rates will probably be adjusted because of that. So that's a can of worms. Don't know the answer to. Um, I don't know if they will pay, but there is possible consequences after that. Um, and I so with that, this not going to be changed at all. Can you pay your principal now and wait for the and be assessed later for the interest? If, if nothing does get resolved through the insurance. Possibly, but that's not what we sent out yeah. this spring. So I don't know, but he said you could reissue next week a different bill uh -huh. and then people can pay it. That way it's not accruing any interest. I know it's would one there one be one a for functional way to do that, Jim, or well you're doing it today. <laughs> the hearing you're having. Yep is you've discovered that their, their assessments were light. And you discover that there needs to be an increase in the assessment. You publish notice, you mail notice, you conduct a hearing on it. You hear the landowner's input, why they shouldn't have to pay anymore. I don't think there's any dispute that there's outstanding bills that need to be paid that haven't been paid. And so you can you can approve that today and send out a new assessment. So would that be a flat like the interest is about 30 percent of the total bill. So would we do a reduction by 30 percent so that the principal is paid? Not like the one one seventy seven one seventy. You still want to debate about the interest. That I think that's what the question comes down to is if insurance pays the interest, they don't want to pay it before insurance pays. Never seem to get a check back as quickly as you pull it. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, you don't have to find it. So. You know, you can. If I'm going in to buy a new car, I don't have to finance it. I can give them a check to hang out. As long as the check's good. You didn't but you didn't give a check until we later discovered that we have a bill. It's I understand all that, but now three might not to me. Jack said he's been on board for 18 years. Not the president, president of this type of problem. All of a sudden, we have two problems in a row and nothing since. That has a slight odor to it. Well, and I would certainly check with someone or some insurance. I think you ran into a perfect storm a change of auditors, a change in the board. And yes, it's a it's a I don't, I'm not trying to make up any excuse to make it, it happen. And the only way to fix it is to pay it off and be done with it. Well, I have the same arguments on this lateral as I did on the DD4 platform. We've paid this bill, you've spread it all, got the deal from Amber Garden. She showed all the bills, I checked them all. She's the auditor says not, Joe. Well, I don't believe what the auditor says because in my exhibits, you'll see where they change things <laughs> illegally, okay? You're not paying my bill, okay? I'm paying the bills that those guys put out. I check them. You haven't checked a thing. But I've listened to you for many years, and you don't come here with a lot of credibility. That's in your opinion. That's right. And that's because you never look at anything. You just, they tell you what to say, and then you just get it. They tell me a thing to say. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. 
They do not influence my legal advice one bit. None of the board members, not the auditor's office. I don't like those disparaging comments, you know. I understand the drainage code, and I come around to give people what my opinion as a lawyer of what it says. They're never going to forgive you. Back with 40 some years of experience. So that's where I'm coming from. Because then they'll be paying interest on I'm not going to go with anybody. I pay the bills. So do these people. 40 some 50 yeah, years of the bill pain. You don't pay the bills. We pay for the shit. Yes. I charge the drugs. That's I charge the drainage district for the work I do. You were working for me, you'd be fired. I'm not. Okay. Um, Tammy had something to Brody. say for Brody's question. Address your question. Sometimes the insurance company looks at um, what's covered and if it's somebody at fault or what the reasoning behind the claim is. Um, and on behalf of the auditor's office, I will take responsibility for that. So if they're looking for at, at fault, I will personally take responsibility for that. So if that helps with anything, that I will do that. So I'm hoping that that maybe helps a little bit, but I can't guarantee it. I and and I like I said before, I'm not gonna say I'm 10% or 90% confident they'll pay the insurance. I have explored that option a little bit um, and will do so further. Can't guarantee how that will turn out. Um, but as far as the assessments that were already sent out or the dollar figures we have. Um, the principal remaining is um, well, it's seventy percent of the bill. So, if if we did a reduction and a reassessment for one hundred seventy eight thousand, that would potentially cover the principal. It won't pay it off directly in that order because the principal and interest of the oldest stamp warrant would get paid first, but um it would go towards reducing future interest so you're saying that we didn't pay any interest on any of the warrants that's been paid so far we have paid interest on every warrant that's been issued so okay. far go ahead so could a guy pay the whole works now interest in everything go through the insurance company and all of a sudden they're going to pay the interest. So you guys write checks out for all of us, and then we don't have to accumulate interest. Yes, I I know another county that assessed too high for a project, and they are doing um, refunds, so to speak. So they are issuing money back to landowners. It's a refund, not a tax credit. Refund, yes. Okay. So that would be an option um so how about did you go about that just go to the auditor's office and pay it or if if you wanted if if that was the consensus of everything or of everyone or in general Those today want to some don't you know? the waivers the waivers would still be an option if they wanted to sign up for waivers that would be an option but we would have as a board and the trustees of the district we would have to make the decision of whether we keep the assessments the same for 2023 or whether we change them and what capacity that happens in. So that's where feedback from you guys as landowners is important here. As, as long as you pursue it like you would, I, I think that's a decent option to be said. If the interest does get repaid, well, it's that will afford to pay interest, we would too. It ain't going to be one. I would agree with your thought process, just common sense. I mean, I can't speak for insurance, but I would assume if they pay one, I would think the other would fall into the same category since it's a very similar situation. I promise we will make sure that today that we do everything we can to make sure that they have all the information so for she can. The waiter's still going to be given tomorrow. 
what we what we could do is we could extend the deadline for signing up for waivers. We could give you guys another month to make that decision. Um, that would be easy for me to support. Um, but just um, if you go that route. No, that would be for everything. Um, that would be keeping the assessments the same. It would just extend the deadline for signing up for a waiver. Hypothetically. But if I paid it all in full, say now, and you don't get anything from the insurance company and interest, would we have to pay any of that interest? If you, if everyone in the district wrote a check today and paid the assessments that were sent out or that were approved in May, there wouldn't be more interest. This would cover the balance that's on the account. Probably not everyone. If if they sign up for waivers, they would pay their interest for those waivers on their own. So but we wouldn't have to pay any interest for anything else. For correct. No. Correct. If it's all paid now, it would be done and over with. But we still want the insurance company to pay because, you know, so you're thinking of a mistake. Oh, if I ran into something, oh, darn, that was a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm still paying for that. So why is it? Where are the mistakes? Did the engineer make some of the mistake and the auditor, or is it all the auditor's office? It it would it would be the 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 engineer provided numbers to the county as a whole. It it is not one office. It is the assessments so, so are we, the assessments are put together uh, by the auditor and drainage clerk and approved by the board. So it's not one entity it's the county as a whole that was responsible for this that's very likely where the mistake was made um, not the engineers from what they provided in in documentation it does not look like that they did not include the interest which like i referenced in the minutes from before the request was to provide a reclassification with actual cost to landowners. So I think, I mean, obviously I wasn't here, but my interpretation of that as a board member would be that they would have included everything, interest and all. We would have had access to that information. They did not. We did not add interest on top of their numbers. We assessed out what they gave us. So that's where the miscommunication came into play is okay. what they, be part of the engineer's fault too, that their insurance would cover some of it? Take the four of us on this side of the table have been in calls with them. Roger and I talked to a couple with McClure last night for over an hour and a half. Um, they have said, based on the documentation they have and they provided to us, they do not feel they were at fault for this mistake. And, and I, we can we can try that, but I'm not going to. You know, it's just not fair. I I will say I am looking into everything I can with this. Um, I'm not going to say I'm hopeful for them to pay anything, but we are trying. And I I, that every engineering company does something a little bit different. Um, the other engineering firms that we work with do have that included in when they do their, when oh. they have the closing hearing. McClure's did not do that at that time. So um, that was part of what happened is it was assumed that that was included because that's what other engineers do, yeah. but it was not. So that's part of the mistake that was made. Bolton and Mank and ISG are two that have, Bolton and Mank especially has been used since they bought out ISG and whatever transition happened. I don't remember what year that was, but with their option, they, those other engineering firms do include the cost of interest. I don't know if it's a projection or if they use actuals and stuff, but that is incorporated into their figures. 
though that is part of why there's the difference between these projects and other projects that may have happened even in a similar time frame is because the information that would have been provided to the county would have been different and that wasn't realized at the time. Can be used McClure for sense drain or lateral to oh. There has not been any new projects. They have been appointed to in my time on the board. That's where it kind of stinks right there. That won't pack it. It's probably more frustrating to me than you guys would imagine, but. We have not been happy with all engineering firms. Why do you, why don't you use your own engineer, Scott? Scott because here, the go? Code of Iowa requires an independent third party engineer. Well, our second party, our secondary road engineers are not a third party because they are secondary roads department is a member of the district. So they would be responsible for things that they are directly benefiting from. Uh, and are there any counties that share further? Higher? I, I don't know of any counties that don't well, hire independent sure, engineers. Sure. Most county engineers don't touch drainage. No, a, a specific mm -hmm. drainage engineer hired by like, two or three counties. Well, the, 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 at least we're talking about the good thing the drainage engineers. McClure, Bolton Lane, ISG. I'm saying an individual yeah. rather than on counties. We are poor hire on an individual basis and go around. Not many counties capture, I don't know any counties that do, capture an engineering firm and have them on payroll and always available. They may consistently hire that engineering firm, and that's generally how they do it because they develop a relationship with them. So with all the projects with yeah, because they have to have liability insurance. Yes. Engineers all carry E and all insurance, they call it. Well, okay, then why don't they pay it? They have to make the claim. And that's what the, so do they make the claim or can we go through the board is discussed and nothing in fluid. They're backing away and they want to fight. And the board is trying to do this in such a way to resolve. It. You're probably not going to have insurance cover all your concerns. Just listen to what's going on today. I don't have a great deal of experience with the insurance companies, but they're not in business to be nice. They're in business to make money. And they don't want to pay a claim that they don't think is a valid claim. Right. How do you request it for a third party to go on their insurance to benefit us? How you do to this point? That's a question. I don't know the technical process for that, but what I will say is based on our conversations with McClure, representatives and staff that way. I think it's very likely we would end up in court to try and claim off their insurance and that would be additional expense and attorney fees and everything else. And that's a challenging topic to go down. We can try, but I, I don't have a lot of faith in that avenue, to be honest. Well, they're probably going to say, what took you so long? And that's why you're not going to get the insurance paid for it, is because you took nine years to figure it out. They'll say, well, that's pretty incompetent. How long had Amber Garman been auditor before this? I know you took over in what, 2019? But she was in for like 20 years, wasn't she? 12. Well, so she had experience when these bills were presented. 12 years. And all you've been here longer than that, you took over from uh, Oronoki. That was back in 2012, I think. Wasn't it somewhere in there? 2013. So 
but that would have been on the big screen. Cancel these assessments. It would be looking over there. What's what's the feeling of the district as far as paying the assessments that were sent out here? that were voted on this spring, do you want to pay it in full, get the interest and everything to stop? Or do you want us to try and battle with insurance? Or do you want to refund if we get money from insurance? Because that's kind of the major decision we have to make right now is whether we keep the current assessments or we change them. The assessment's not going to change. The assessment, the assessment would change if we cancel them because we would have another year of interest. Right. What would be if you don't get anything with the assessments? What's to stop an individual landowner paying the entire assessment? Nothing. Nothing. If an individual landowner pays the entire assessment, then that landowner no longer has any more obligation. Correct. Correct, but we have to do what you want to do over here. Right. You said you would still get the interest if the insurance pays for it. If there's yeah, if there's a settlement with the insurance company, then it'd be up to the auditor's office to get a refund back to you. If, if there's a settlement with the insurance company, the drain for lateral two would be the beneficiary to that settlement, which then. You guys are the owners of the district, so yes, it would come back in in form that way. Um, but yeah, those are extend yeah. those, extend the warrants, stop for anybody. We could we could extend the deadline for signing up for waivers. Yeah, we could do that. Do it for thirty days. It's the insurance company funding coming back to say agents of lateral two. Does that go into that? fund the lateral two or is it going to a personal check to the end it would go into the fund for lateral two for we players, would but players. then we would have to make a just an action to refund that out to the individuals based on the classification schedule so it it would come back in form down the road uh, but it would come to lateral two initially so you mean my deal would be the just because of the refund I'm gonna have access to the refund check. No, you would pay the you would pay the whole bill now, yeah. but the refund would potentially come later if that happens. Okay, the check gonna yes. It would come back in a check if we get to that point. Okay. So if you keep digging into this, find out that we don't hit, would you refund our cap? Yeah. Yes. That's thanks for everybody. So, so I would if you keep digging, find something else. Just like the last meeting, is there a guarantee that we're done? So we thought we were done six years of the paint, please. So this this dollar figure is I mean, it's kind of like a loan for a piece of farm ground or a tractor or whatever. It's the outstanding balance on the account. So that is a real time number. We can see what's owed for the account. So, unless a new bill comes in, that number is not going to change. It's interest or new bill. So yeah, yeah. Bill shouldn't be coming in. No, no. But I, I, if 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 someone has a hole in their field this fall and we fix it and it costs a thousand dollars, that would be a new bill. So that that's yeah. But this number is is not going to change. For no, the it, it, stuff it, that's on the account right now, on lap two, that's a hard number. Yes, it, that's it's it would be there. it would be done and over with. Yep. Yes. So, I would make a motion to extend the deadline um, for signing up for waivers by thirty days. For for drain four lap two for lap two. Yeah. Carter, do you want to say something? I can second. Okay, Carter's going to second that motion. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried unanimous. Anything else for DD4 lap two? So the assessment is still on. Correct. Okay, that's your final decision. Anybody on the board have anything for TV4 Lat 2? 
If not, I would entertain a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Okay. Any but other questions from landowners? If the landowner can't, you know, beams we at this hearing, is it how long do you have to pay this? You have to have it in by the first 30 days. The, the option for waiver will be extended though. For the actual payment, yeah. what's the September first? September thirtieth. So that's oh, yeah. that's when the bill is due. Okay. Yeah. 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 So there's there's another month. It's Same as your taxes. Yep. Yeah. Make sure I heard. Yep. Yeah. So the um, basically the deadline for signing up with a waiver would now closely correlate with when the bill is due. So are you still going to fight with insurance on this yet too? Or yes. Okay. Well. But if we do one, we'll we'll send them both in. Line four and line two. That that was the majority of the conversation we just had. Carter, did you second the motion? I did. But we are closing. Well, I, For, oh, no, I, 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 I will oh, second the motion. Motion. Mayor's voted on that. Yeah. The hearing. I just wanted to make sure we had all our comments. Right, that's, I have a motion to second. Any more discussion? If not, do a roll call vote, please. Matt? Yes. Yes. Sir? Yes. Decker? Yes. Eric? Yes. Any other questions from anybody on Black Who? Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Yep. Thank you for taking me, Mr. Kyle. Thank you. Whoopsie, I dropped you. That's good. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, yep. Thanks for coming. Marge, any other things to say? No? Anybody have anything on the board for draining? No. Have you talked with Jason and Westergaard yet about PK1? Yeah, I'll talk to him today. Now that we've yeah, you want to talk to him today? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Tell him that there's going to be a motion next week. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah. Here. Thanks, Mars. Yep. Yeah. Um. And DD4. Good. Yeah. Have you talked to anybody about doing repairs yet? No, I need to go through that report with Tyler and um, get their list put together. So, but no, that will be after props are out this well, fall. You, you are on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's on my radar. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Plan. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. We are adjourned. So this isn't the way you normally make sausage, but you got some sausage babies. I don't know I if we know. can eat the sausage.